everybody okay so i know it's been a while since we've posted a video we were kind of busy with christmas and the holidays and then now khalil is in korea for a month learning and getting some stuff done so he can get promoted and become a sergeant um so this is actually a video we did around the end of december and um yeah i'm just now getting around to posting it so it's a snow day everybody the entire base is closed as 11 o'clock kids are out of school it's pretty awesome so let's all just pretend that it's not christmas yet and enjoy this video of us in tokyo and yeah thanks <laughs> We didn't think about our bags, you know, being such a big person probably doesn't want certain things getting nearby, so now we have to go check in our bags. And leave our stuff. And leave our stuff behind. Masses and masses of people. This thing's gonna be awesome. Okay, so we're through security. Yeah. Um, I guess instead of looking through our bag, they just sent us a bag check, which was a lot easier. And then they patted us down and wanted us, and now we are joining the masses of people. And we are about to walk up to the palace. Um, I told Kolo we were in line watching all the people. It kind of makes me feel like the scenes on like um, I Am Legend with Will Smith and what's that, Maze Runner, when it shows like all the people getting evacuated <laughs> in some crazy zombie film. That's, that's how many people are here and that's what it feels like. So it doesn't seem like we're gonna have much time to stop and look. How do we, do we come down the exact same way? <laughs> Thank you. 
every bit of space that it can. This is something that's just totally quirky to me and that you would never get to see in the States and I think that's why I love it so much. It is a little section comprised of about three restaurants built under a bridge. A train even went over us as we were filming this segment and in a moment I'll pan to the right and you can see just how close to the road it is. So this park we happened to just stumble upon on our walk from Ginza to Ropungi Hills. It had that kind of English tea garden, old world vibe and I really wanted to check it out. Little did we know there was an actual mochi event going on. So we got to uh, try mochi and make mochi and it was really interesting. Mochi is a rice cake made out of a gelatinous rice that's pounded and mixed with water and it forms this dough. It's usually served with fruit inside, topped with soybean flour, sweet red bean paste, or even soy sauce and seaweed. This was actually a ticketed event, but it was really kind of them to allow us to join in, even though we hadn't paid. Lady gave us her string so we could get mochi, which was really sweet. And then too much to chew, but I love it. Yeah, this one's kind of like a runny gel, but it tastes like onigiri. Yeah, like, so it basically rice and soy sauce and seaweed. And yeah. then the other one is sesame powder, but sesame powder pretty much tastes like peanut butter, so it's really good.
Okay, but so we're at our second light. This is um, Gotanda, and we're in the middle of Gotanda at another station. But we just walked under that little bridge, and I thought it was super wimpy because there was only like three trees. But then I saw the reflection on the water, and I got excited. Yas. <laughs> cool, it's supposed to fake propose to me tonight, but I don't think he's going to have no. the guts to do it. I don't know where she thought that was. Just because I didn't give him time to actually ask me if he'd marry me. I just said yes. She lost her chance. <laughs> Our first street performer in Japan! Okay. <laughs> 